You look good, you feel good. You feel good, you play good. You play good, they pay good. But there's no way you're looking good in those crusty looking cleats you've been wearing. But we're gonna help you fix that today by turning your old dirty stained cleats from this to this. So make sure to stick around. I'm gonna show you a quick and effective way to bring your old cleats back to life so you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars buying brand new ones. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Northern Baseball Training. If you're new around here or you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button below. Over 90% of the people who watch the videos aren't even subscribed, so if you wanna help your boy out, hit that subscribe button below. And smash that like button, turn on post notifications, tell your mom, email your grandparents, share it with a friend, buy a billboard, whatever you gotta do. So for this video, you're gonna need laundry detergent, stain remover, household scrubber, toothbrush, preferably not your wife's or your parents, sponge, newspaper, and for all you kids out there, a newspaper is pretty much the internet, but on paper. And if your cleats are falling apart, some crazy glue. So as you can see, my cleats are pretty old and worn out. I think they're about eight years old and they've never had a good cleaning. I think I've rinsed them off before, but never put a real deep clean in. So we're gonna change that today and make them look brand new. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the laces. These laces aren't even actually that bad. I just replaced them not too long ago because my other one's ripped. But what you're gonna do is you're just gonna soak them in a bowl full of water and laundry soap just kind of mix it up and then just let them sit. Once you've done that, we're just gonna get a bowl of just water and a sponge and we're just gonna kind of roughly clean up all the water and all the mud kind of off the cleats. Make sure if you're doing this in your kitchen, make sure that your wife is out of town when you do it. Okay, so now that we're done with wiping it down with the sponge, next we're gonna grab the brush and we're gonna dip it in a bowl full of half water, half laundry detergent, and we're just gonna scrub away. I might do it again. Enemies close, have me thinking they're friends. Ten toes down, I'll be free into the end. Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my hands. Took so many years, I'm just waiting for the winds. I'm in we're gonna give these a quick rinse underwater. I'm just gonna keep going with it. It's already looking a little bit better, a little bit whiter. This fabric part is still pretty stained, but we're going to get to that in a bit. Let's keep scrubbing. So now that we're done that, we're going to put a little bit of soap in just a container like this. And then we're going to grab the toothbrush and we're going to go inside the little crevices throughout the whole cleat. Now that we've done that for a bit, if you have fabric on your cleats like I do, we're just gonna get your spray and we're just gonna spray the fabric areas and then spray the inside. And then we're just gonna go to town with a toothbrush. Up on the workload. I think I fell in love with the bankroll. Pray up, get money, then we lay low. Then we lay low. Add it up. I think that's pretty good. We're gonna rinse it off. So it looks pretty good. As you can see, a lot better than this. But now that that's done, we're gonna take some newspaper and we're just gonna shove it into the cleat. It's just gonna prevent the seams from forming at the toe. So I'm just gonna set that aside and we're gonna get on to the next one. Again, we're gonna put the laces in the bowl and just kind of smush it around and let it soak in water and water and laundry detergent. Then we're just gonna scrub all the dirt off of it. Once you've rinsed it off with a sponge, we're gonna go back to the bowl with the laundry detergent and the water. For the last cleat, I think I put a little bit too much water and not enough laundry detergent. So we wanna basically all laundry detergent with just a little bit of water. You want it to look real nice and soapy like that when you're scrubbing it. Once you're done with that, toothbrush again, laundry detergent, and just scrub away. Get in all the crevices, all the creases, all the crevices, all the cracks, and just give it a good scrub. 
scrub down. So once you've done that and you've got inside all the creases and everything, grab the spray again, spray the fabric areas and on the inside, and then just scrub. Once you've given it a good scrub, we're gonna rinse it off again. Not too shabby, getting better. So again, grab your papered internet, stuff it in there to prevent creases. Okay, so now that those are done, we can grab our laces. Like I said before, these laces were kind of new, so they weren't even really that bad. So we're gonna let these laces and the shoes dry overnight, and then I come back tomorrow, put the laces in, and then we're gonna glue up the parts that need gluing, and then see the final product. So I let these dry outside for about a day and a half, and then I put the laces in already. But as you can see, they are significantly whiter than they were before. The fabric here is still a little bit stained, but these are eight years old and that's eight years of sweat. So I'm gonna go to town to it again. And if you have tiny caps like me, you're never gonna wear your socks up. So no one's gonna see this part anyway. But other than that, as you can see, they're super white. And like I said before, they're eight years old, so they're a little bit beat up, but the color has come back, they're nice and white. So I mentioned the glue before, this is just an extra step. If your cleats are falling apart like mine, as you can see, they're a little bit ripped there. So now I'm gonna show you how to fix that. So you might wanna wear gloves for this part because this is crazy glue and it's super adhesive. So you don't wanna get any stuck to your fingers. And make sure you use a towel because you don't wanna get any glue on your countertop. I feel like Dexter right now. And then you're just gonna put this in here and you're just gonna squeeze it out just a little bit. And then you're just gonna hold it there for a couple seconds. And then that's it, you just let that part dry and then your cleat should be good to go. We're gonna do the next one now, same thing. This one's a little bit more ripped. So then that's it guys. Chances are your cleats aren't gonna get as beat up as mine because you're probably gonna outgrow them before they get this beat up. But if they do, that's how you fix them. Brand new, good for another eight years. Thanks for watching guys. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button below and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on any videos. And I'll see you guys next week. You only climb me, I put the ladders up. No fault. I done doubled up on the workload. I think I fell in love with the bankroll.